G'day, it's the lawn expert here. The, the list of warm season grasses that are pretty popular here in Australia include buffalo, cooch, kikuyu, zoysia, seashore paspalum a bit, and even, and even durban. The grass we're going to focus on today is, is zoysia, or zoysia grass. Um, uh, the common name in, um, in both Australia and and over in North America is, is zoysia, um, uh, zoysia grass. The scientific name is zoysia japonica and in America it's zoysia japonica. Funny that it's um, the same name because it's a scientific name is zoysia japonica. That's the same name that it's referred to all the way around the world. Uh, Although, like in America, the common name for one of the uh, varieties of zoysia is Zeon zoysia. In Australia, we have a couple of different varieties that are fairly popular. They're Empire zoysia, Nara zoysia, and so on. And so they're the common names, but, uh, but they all have the same scientific name, which is scientific. Uh, they all have the same scientific name, which is Zoysia japonica. The feature with Zoysia grass is that it, it is used commonly in, in sports field situations, very popular in North America in the um, uh, in golf courses. Um, and the reason why it's a popular sports field grass is that it's it has both stolons and rhizomes. Stolons are the above ground row runners and and the rhizomes are the below ground runners and and it's the the rhizomes that uh, makes zoysia a popular sports field grass because it gives it that that quick recovery in spring um, after it's been worn out a bit with uh, with traffic and so on with zoysia grass it's a it's a really um, interesting looking grass it's um it's got a similar bluey tinge to it like buffalo uh, although it's got a narrower leaf and I must admit it, it, it looks really good in, um, in uh, residential landscape situations where even I've seen in, 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 a, in a, uh, a beautifully designed yard where, the, where there's buffalo in one, one part of the yard and zoysia in another part of the yard so they, what they're doing is they're using two different plant species to um, to create a nice landscape design effect okay so with uh, with zoysia we'll we'll go and have a look at a uh, a particular zoysia and that's coming up now the grass that we're uh, standing on this is zoysia grass it's a beautiful turf grass it's sort of in between I like to think of it as in between cooch or Bermuda grass in between Bermuda grass and buffalo, or as they call it in America, St. Augustine. Um, let's just have a look around or go in a little bit closer. So we can just see the, um, the texture, the texture of the grass. It's um, different to, um, to buffalo in the sense that the runners are quite wiry so you can tell the difference between zoysia and buffalo if you're sort of a little bit confused the the runners or the stolons for um for zoysia are quite wiry whereas the buffalo stolons or runners are are quite thick okay i'm in a shadier patch here with the zoysia zoysia can handle a bit of shade but not as much as buffalo. As you can see, there's been a bit of buffalo that's crept in here. And I just want to come in closer. If you have a look, see the thicker blades? That's buffalo. And we just come around a bit. The thinner, the thinner stuff, the thinner blades of grass, that's zoysia.